What's going on, gang? Good afternoon. Hi there. Greetings. Welcome, welcome. My name is Alan Cox. Thanks for being here. If you are, short show today. Power hour-ish plus before the Guardians game. Bill Squire is here, too. Say hello to him. Hey, creepy hugs, everyone. Thanks for listening to and watching this episode of The Alan Cox Show. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share a cold one with the boys while you watch some baseball. The uh, singularly delightful Gabriela Cruz is back. Gee, it feels like only a couple of weeks ago that we saw you. Just a few weeks ago, in we were here. celebrating Women's Day. From you, oh, that's right. It was yeah. National Women's Day, and Mary was on the road, and we couldn't have National, three yeah. dopes just sitting in here talking. So they said, Gab was kind enough to join us. And do you feel that you positively struck a blow for International Women's Day? We heard some of your music. Oh, it was the Very best day inspiring. ever. Very <laughs> inspiring. I don't. Best day it's really ever. hard to top that day. Yeah. <laughs> you played my music, and like. We had a fart joke that I couldn't stop laughing at. <laughs> yeah, you fart really joke. got into the I fart. I mean, yeah. I really had a 10 out of 10. Yeah, 10 out of 10. Would recommend. <laughs> Again, Pound Cake is back behind the glass. I am afternoon, white people. Hi, Gab. Hey. Gab Cruz from your Cleveland Guardians. Do you, I know today's the season opener. It's an away game. They're in Kansas City. We're only on until like 3.30 today. Is there anything you have to do for them, or you are strictly when they're in town, you're doing stuff? Well, right now, we were just getting prepped for our home opener. Mm -hmm. So there's kind of like some loose ends, you know, just getting ourselves together for that. Mm -hmm. getting... You don't consider yourself a loose end, though. I mean, I don't know if that's the preferred nomenclature these days, right? <laughs> uh, just in general, you yeah, mean. Yeah, you know, like making sure we can say guardians plenty of times and not mess it up and... Uh, you know, we have different different things at the ballpark this year, so you got to get it in your brain. I bet. Now, there's less pressure on me. I mean, we're the FM flagship for the team, but if I slip up and say Indians, big deal, right? But I have to think that the guys in the booth and everyone who is part of that organization, they've got to, at least for a little while, there's got to be an index card with the word Guardians in big black letters on it. Yeah, it's hard. You don't realize how uh, seamless it is in your brain. Yeah, it's ingrained. You're... Yeah. Yes. I, I've heard a few... Of the spring training games, and I've heard them slip up a couple times. Oh, have they really? Yeah, I mean, of course. Hammy and Rosie. They've and, been uh, do, they've been calling games one way for years. thirty years. Yeah. So yeah, you're gonna yeah. have a couple. But that's what the spring training. It's not just spring training for the players. It's spring training for the broadcast team. Oh, and right. I'm sure they got it, it is, all locked it? in, well, locked down. Yeah. How about Bill's cap, by the way? That is pretty awesome. His cat. Cap. My cap. I'm oh, wearing a guardian. Cap. His ball cap. Oh, hey, look, look at that. You I got that. I got the the. Wow, you went yeah. all out. I, I went so the day that they <laughs> opened up the team shop, I went and bought this stuff. Yeah. And when I walked inside, bought this stuff, the sign was firmly oh. on the side of the building. <laughs> and when you walked, and I walked out, outside, it had just fallen. Wow, so you're the problem. <laughs> you know? It didn't fall on you though. It didn't did fall it? on me. It just <laughs> it happened within the Ten minutes that I was in the store. Yeah, if only you'd made your choices in the team store a little quicker and gotten outside, oh, there man. probably could have been a sizable settlement. You yeah, they'd be called <laughs> the, <laughs> the Cleveland <laughs> Squires. Uh <-huh. laughs> True story. I got a concussion. I have one and only concussion leaving a track practice, and I was trying to push the door open, and the sign from the outside swung and hit me in the head. This was in high school, or this when was, in was college. this? In college. <laughs> and where did you go to college? I went to John Carroll and then Syracuse. Okay. This was at, oh, you went to Syracuse. This was at Carroll, though. Yeah. Is that the Orange Men? Is that? Syracuse? Yep, yep. Yeah. And so, John Carroll, you were on the track team. Mm -hmm. You were trying to leave. You were trying to get outside and yeah, you hit a door. And I was like, why is this? I was at Spire and I was like, why is this door like stuck? So I like pushed it really hard. And the reason it was stuck was because the sign was half fallen on the outside. And I, I didn't see. know. So when I finally got it open, it swung and hit me right in the head right you, after a really hard workout. Yeah. Thing. So you were officially <laughs> concussed. Yeah. Did you go off and they took a look at you? Or well, I didn't know. Did you, I was did you see cartoon bluebirds around your head and stars? <laughs> no. And I like wish that. it was more exciting. Yeah. I got in the van and was just like really tired. And then I got home and I was like, you know what? Things are spinning. <laughs> <laughs> so. so you went to you went to John Carroll and then transferred to Syracuse? I actually did my fifth year at Syracuse. Fifth year. Did mm -hmm. you do that because you were like running from the law or you just want to get out of town for a bit? What drew you to Syracuse University? Um, I'm a last minute Lucy yeah. and a uh, late bloomer to a lot of things. And I wasn't sure what I want to do with my career because I just went, I just majored in communications, which is kind of, I don't want to say it's silly to major in, but I already know how to communicate. Mm -hmm. So I spent a lot of money doing something very vague. Um, there you go. <laughs> well, you know. let, let's put it this way. There's three people on this show 
that you know all work here. One of them is took communications in college, and he's the phone screener. <laughs> <laughs> so, so far, straight facts. I'm sorry, Bill. You are. <laughs> but who has? But who has more direct communication with the audience? Of course, initially, than Pound Cake. So it works out perfectly. I have two degrees I don't use. Pound Cake. I barely uses his, but he does talk to people. Bill's not a paperwork guy, so no degrees. I mean, he, no degrees at all. Mm-hmm. Not even ninety-eight degrees. <laughs> not even Nick Lachey tour shirt or anything. <laughs> not even register on a thermometer. Mm-hmm. He's cool as a cucumber. So you do a year at Syracuse, and you come back, and you go, "That was good." And yeah, yeah, yeah. One year, a one-year master's program. Oh yeah. Yeah, I had I had one year of eligibility, and I didn't want to go to OU because that would have been two years, and I was just really itching to get out of school. So I went to Cuse. So you have a master's degree. I do. In what? Um, broadcast and digital journalism. Oh, okay. Yeah. Digital. See, those are one of those things that I like know. are available now. Yeah. Because I'm old. I mean, I graduated from college in '93. They mean like zeros oh. and ones, right? It was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> By digital. Using your fingers <laughs> yeah. uh, in a, in an improper fashion. Yeah, there's a lot of things like friends of mine that like work for Apple and things who are you know considerably younger than me. There were no web degrees when I was in college. You know, a thousand years ago. You yeah, just had uh, Mac Classics. Unless you studied spiders. Mm, yeah, <laughs> see, because the things and the animals. Oh, hey, I was just sent some breaking news, by the way. I know it's not International Women's Day. Ellen Cax to... Exclusive News Update! Uh, no big shock, but it is official that Katanji Brown Jackson is heading to the Supreme Court after being confirmed by the Senate moments ago. She'll be the first black woman to ever serve on the nation's highest court. She's, of course, replacing um, She's replacing uh, Stephen Breyer, who has been there for a long, long time. And so uh, there was no, uh, there was all this theater in her confirmation hearings uh, from Republicans who needed a clip to be shown on Tucker Carlson that night, but uh, there was no, no real question as to whether or not she was going to be in there. So there you go. Now, again, it doesn't change the makeup of the court. Uh, they're swapping one liberal judge for another, but um, she's uh, absolutely... Uh, qualified for that position, so it's uh, she's they've, pretty they've made that official. Like, yeah, they ran a. I was looking at a initially when they started the confirmation hearings on her, and they were trying to paint her as some kind of weirdo. And somebody had a chart of all of the things that she's done in her career between clerking in college and things like that. Yeah. And every single box is checked, and then they compared it to the other people who are already on the Supreme Court, and maybe one or two boxes was checked. Mm-hmm. So she's arguably more qualified than every other person on that bench. So, um, But again, it's, it's, for, it's for SCOTUS where, nerds. It's not necessarily yeah. for everyday. You look at that and you go, that's impressive. But then you go, what have I done with my life? And you're looking at your accomplishments. Nothing. Like, nothing. Not, not, one, not like, one everything thing. Everything she did was hard and meaningful, and I'm like... Pfft. That's why. I, that's why. Anytime you and nothing. I, anytime you and I, are um, our names are floated for consideration on the Supreme Court, we are immediately shot down. That's why. I always ask them to withdraw my name from consideration. Too much paperwork. Mm-hmm. It comes guys, full circle. You guys can't even become my conservators. How are you going to become a Supreme Court justice? What makes you think we can't become your conservators? Can. Yes, we can. You can't. We've already. We're already having paperwork drawn up. Yeah, that's how serious I am about this. We're doing I'm not quietly. A paperwork, I'm not a paperwork guy, quietly. but to control your dollar, I will go that far. Bill will move heaven, earth, and papers to mm-hmm. make sure that we are named your conservators. You know what? And just to stick it in a little bit further, we're going to name Gab as one of your conservators as well. She doesn't care. She barely got anything to do with it. We're just going to put her name on the paperwork <laughs> okay, fine. in case, in case something should happen to Bill or I, she'll be in charge of your well, that mean, that, minimal funds. That means I'm the most unsuspecting to kill you guys off and become the main conservator. But now that you've said it, you fell right into my trap. And now that you said it, and I've got you on tape, on digital tape, um, yeah. whatever. But she's a master of that, so she knows how to <clears throat> That's manipulate right. She has a master's yeah. in digital communication. <laughs> mm-hmm. And there it is. Perhaps I fell into her trap. I got to take a break. Short show today. Uh, Three thirty-five, I think, is the join for the network. Uh, Four ten is the first pitch in Kansas City today. Your very first uh, Cleveland Indians regular. Uh, I did it. I said Cleveland Indians yeah. Guardians regular season game. Four ten 
uh, this afternoon. So we'll come back here. I'll have Mastodon tickets to give to you. Uh, they're doing the Agora in a couple of weeks. So if you want to win those, I'll hand them off shortly. 35192 if you want to.